Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you just another pulse motor I built. Nothing special, as usual. Um, this rotor over here, I don't think of uh, you've seen it before. This rotor, I had it for many years. Uh, you can see it working in the previous video. It was driving my large pulse motor for a lot of years. As I stand now, it only has two drive coils trigger wheel for the all sensor here's the all sensor itself and of course I have a meter panels fold meter to uh, 30 volts DC 500 millimeter and this one is a bit too much 10 amps <laughs> not planning to do anything about that wires for the uh, all sensor of course input wires coil wires I'm still working out what kind of circuitry I'm going to use over here let me get that rotor also I can show you Give me a second. I should be able to get it out easily. I think. Yes. Okay. Here's a rotor. As you can see it. It's a pretty uh, large one compared to my hands. These uh, magnets here are uh, 50 millimeter by 15 by 15. 50 by 15 by 15. Very strong. And I got, uh, if I'm correct, 18 poles. So 18 neodymium magnets. One of my shafts. Trigger wheel. Yeah. Let me pull it back. Oops. Sorry about that. I'll let me show you. It's very easy build. Here's some wood, here's some spacer to keep the axle and the shaft, I mean the, uh, the shaft and the bearing in the right spot. It's going to go like this, as you can see over here. One end, it's pretty heavy, this uh, rotor over here. Uh, sliding down slowly, slowly. Wait for it. Yes. It's in its place. It's been pretty good. Now that's about it for now. I haven't done much lately, but I'm still working on this kind of stuff. Anyway, when I decide what kind of circuitry I'm going to use over here, I will uh, connect it, give it a spin, and make a small video on it. Also, here's another look from this side of the rotor. It's a pretty nice rotor, as you can see, it's had this, uh, it has an edge over here, so it's built like a flywheel. I always build my rotor like that, just to give it that nice flywheel momentum. So here it's 50 millimeter, and over here it's 10. So I have 2.5 millimeter on both sides, both sides carved out. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this small update. And as always, thank you for watching.